Howdy, partner. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the molecular mass of ammonium sulfate. It's fairly straightforward. I have a nice little tip to help us out. Take a look. Bam. So the first step of the process is that we're going to write down the elements we see in the compound. So we've got nitrogen, hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. Then we got to identify the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now at the bottom of every element, you want to write in your subscripts if you don't see one. So for example, there's a one on nitrogen, and there's also a one on sulfur. So now to find the total number of nitrogens, you have to take the co uh, the subscript, excuse me, of nitrogen and multiply it by the outer subscript outside those parentheses to find the total. So you have two nitrogens. Similarly, you would do the same thing for hydrogen. Take the four, multiply it by the outer subscript of two, so you have eight hydrogens. You have only one sulfur because there is no outer subscript to multiply it by, and you have four oxygen. <clears throat> then you're going to take those numbers of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each element. That's where the periodic table comes into play, so let's take a look. Hydrogen's mass is 1.01, nitrogen is 14.01, oxygen is 16, and sulfur is 32.07. All right, so either you got to memorize them or you're going to need the table to look up those values in order to do this, okay? So we write them on down, and then we're simply going to multiply the row on across now to find the total mass of each element in the compound, all right? And so 14.01 times 2 is 28.02. And uh, this works out to be 8.08. .08. This works out to be 32.07. And this works out to be 64. And then to find the total mass in the compound, it's fairly straightforward now. All you got to do is add this column up, right? And that's really what we're interested in here, 132.17. Uh, and the units there are in AMU. That's because we're finding molecular mass. That's all there is to it, right? Straightforward process. C table creates a nice structure for us. It makes it nice and simple. All right, you can apply this process to any problem, any compound you want to find the molecular mass for. Thanks for watching.